So in a previous video, we took a look at doing a, a line of best fit. But sometimes our data doesn't really lie in a straight line, and maybe we want to use another uh, regression model, um, like a x squared, a, a quadratic, or, or maybe a cubic. So remember, if, if our data lies in a line, pen wasn't working there, there we go. If it looks like the data lies in a line, then this is a good model to use, y equals mx plus b. But if it looks like a parabola, so a line looks like this, a parabola might be a curve that looks like this, or maybe it's upside down, looks like that, then we would want to use a quadratic. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. But maybe the graph looks something like this. Maybe it looks like a cubic, or it could look like this. It's got three parts to it. So a line has one part, a parabola kind of has two parts, and a curve, ha a cubic rather, has three parts. So a cubic would simply now be something y equals ax cubed, and something x squared, and something x, and some number at the end. So these are some different models we can use depending on what our data looks like. So um, let's go back to Desmos and let's enter this first uh, bit of information in here. Uh, so let's see, yep, here we go. So remember, one way we could do it is we could make a table and uh, enter all this uh, data in there, or I think this will work. If I copy this, Control C, copy that, and just go into box one here and go Control V, and that didn't work. So let's try doing it like this. There we go. So I had to copy the X and the Y at the top, and then it realized that these were indeed a bunch of points. Um, so I've got my data here. It's not a particularly fantastic curving shape, but it does seem to have a bit of a parabola kind of a shape to it. So let's see what we get here. It's certainly not linear. This part looks pretty linear, but then of course this stuff goes down. But it does kind of look like there's two parts. There's a part that goes up and then there's a part here that goes down. So for my regression here, we're going to write y1 and then we're going to do the little squiggly thing right under the escape. So y1 is approximately a x1 squared plus b x1 plus C. So you can see we've got a parabola that fits it as good as it can. So it's not it's not fantastic where we got some points that are off here and some that are too high, but it has the general the same general shape. So we could say then that the equation that best models that line is y equals, so for this equation, if we did a quadratic, this would be y equals, now I've got to remember this number, negative 0 0.25025 x squared plus b, so the b is 2 point, I'm just going to go to two decimal places, I don't have to remember all these numbers, 2.75, it would be good if we wrote them all down, but 2.75x, uh, 5.18, plus 5.18. So this would be the equation that would best represent this data using a quadratic or a, <coughs> or a parabola to represent that, that data there. Okay, let's look at this second set of data. Let's go back here. We'll clear this out. We will clear this out. We'll take our second data, and I'll copy the x and the y this time, and I will put that in there. Okay, so now looking at this data, it's clearly not linear because it goes up, then it goes down, then it goes up. 
this part looks like it, you could do a, a parabola. It could be a quadratic regression on this, but then it comes back up again. So this clearly kind of has three parts to the graph. So I'm going to go with a cubic regression. So that would be y1, and then regress that to an ax1 cubed. So you can see it's it's trying to do a regression based on just an ax cubed. It doesn't doesn't work very well. So we're going to keep going, and we're going to put in a bx squared. Oops, I got I got to remember to do the x1, so it knows to take that data, x1 squared. Uh, plus C X1 plus D. Okay, so we get a cubic. That's not too bad. This point's off a little bit. These points are a little bit below it, but it's done done a pretty decent job of representing those curves on there, those points on there. And so then the equation would be y y equals and then this number would go in there, that much x cubed, plus that many x squares, plus the c would go here, that many x's, and then plus negative 2.778 at the, at the end. So that's how we can use Desmos to do either a quadratic with an x squared or a cubic with an x cubed regression based on some scatter plots that we do. Um, so if your, points, if your points look like they're just a straight line, then this is a good model to use, the linear regression. If your points look like they've kind of got two parts, it goes down and up, or it goes up and back down, then maybe the quadratic, because it looks like a parabola. An ax squared plus bx plus c would be a good regression to use. And if your graph kind of has three parts to it, then um, a good regression to use would be the cubic regression.